In the past, it was quite simple to understand if on the other side of the keyboard there was a human or a machine. Okay. Now, with the use of new generation of algorithms and new generation of what we call LL models, so large um, language models, we all know, for example, ChatGPT, but there are many other similar models. It's quite difficult to understand if on the other side if there is a human or there is a machine. If we can consider that national state actors, so actors that works with the government, uh, can employ not one, not a single machine, but a million of machines that can manage at the, in the real times a lot of accounts on different platforms, pushing out specific discussion, uh, fueling specific, specific discussion with uh, arguments, videos, uh, fake videos with the fake image, fake audio, it's quite hard for the normal people to understand is it real or not. So who is accountable for these issues? Of course, uh, government are doing a lot of job in order to create a new generation of tools, also based on artificial intelligence that are able to recognize such kind of threats. But we have also to consider that an important role is uh, assigned to private organizations. So social media companies are, um, are tasked to identify such kind of propaganda misinformation campaign, and they have to act in rapid way. We have already observed in the last of in the last uh, year, many campaigns that are uh, fueled by national aid actors, uh, and uh, this campaign um, were proposing uh, specific arguments, specific topics. Uh, in some cases, also fake images or fake videos were used to support the campaign and to uh, modify, to influence the public opinion on specific uh, uh, topics, okay? Now the problem is that uh, the use of artificial intelligence is uh, empowering these three actors, is giving them new opportunities. These opportunities were never seen before. They can create in real time any kind of video, photos, messages. They can target specific audience. They can create a specific discussion where humans uh, interact with the machine without the knowledge that on the other side, there was a machine that was exactly uh, responding to the order of a national state actor. And this is what is already happening and probably this year uh, was uh, critical from this point of view because many governments will try to influence to alter the outcome votes from many elections. As I told you before, uh, in many cases, the result of some elections in specific area of the globe, I'm thinking, for example, to South America, but also in Europe and also in the US one, will have a huge impact on the overall global politics. Uh, if we consider also that uh, we are in a moment where there are two conflicts, two uh, ongoing conflicts, and also in these two ongoing conflicts, we are observing a massive use of artificial intelligence to propose fake content, fake uh, image, to spread misinformation, and so on. Yeah, from, um, let me say, the, the end user point of view, it's quite hard to distinguish uh, uh, fake content from a real content, okay? Anyway, my suggestion is always trust specific sources. You have to consider uh, that a news is true if it is spread through a trusted sources, okay? So we need to, uh, to trust uh, global recognized uh, broadcaster uh, with a specific uh, uh, history and so on. We can also ignore any kind of information that is spread through social media, Facebook, or for example, through instant messaging application, because we have observed in the last years that many fake information, many disinformation campaign used uh, instant messaging application. Let's thinking of WhatsApp, but also Instagram and so on. Okay. And um, it's quite easy for initial state actors, but also for people like you and, um, and me to create specific content, fake videos, to modify a video and spread the video in a specific context, in a specific countries uh, 
for example, with the uh, end goal to untrust, to uh, discriminate some people or to create untrust in the, in the government. So from an um, end point, uh, from a user point of view, the only thing that, that I can suggest is to always trust all information from specific sources. If you have any news, if you receive a message or on, on Facebook or WhatsApp, I always suggest to verify the origin of the message. You have to double check any kind of sources, check if the same news is spread by official broadcast in order to understand if it is a fake. Sometimes you have to consider also that the three tactos are able to mix a true news with fake elements. This, this allows to create a very powerful misinformation campaign and uh, also to create untrust in governments and uh, also in political parties and so on. From a government point of view, uh, it's, a very, it's a very big challenge. Almost every government is investing uh, to create a new generational tool that can prevent such kind of uh, uh, disinformation campaign that are fueled by AI-based systems. I can tell you that, for example, that in Europe in the past years, uh, there were some specific uh, uh, European calls for specific projects that were uh, aimed at to create uh, some tools, some instruments that allow governments and also law enforcement and intelligence agencies in order to recognize uh, fake news, tweet actors that are spreading or manipulating a huge botnet that are uh, a, a huge quantity of uh, compromised or fake accounts in order to spread misinformation. On the other side, there is the last items of the chain, the private industries, uh, as I told you, the companies that currently manage uh, the, the platforms that are used as a vectors to launch such kind of disinformation campaign have a huge responsibility. They are tasked to try to identify uh, rapidly such kind of disinformation campaign. And the only way to do is, is to invest, largely invest in high based system. I, I, I distinguish uh, two aspects, okay? Um, the first is the impact of artificial intelligence uh, on those jobs that have no specific technical uh, skills, okay? In these cases, uh, I have to tell you that unfortunately, increasing automation raises uh, serious concern about the job displacement. So it's very important for government to address this job displacement, uh, creating a new opportunity to train, to retrain these people and uh, to uh, teach them how they can also be uh, employed in a different way in a, in a new industries with new tasks and new jobs. From in a technical point of view, I can tell you that for those uh, jobs that were, let me say, also technical jobs, IT jobs, uh, uh, the artificial intelligence will create new opportunities. Probably we many of the jobs that um, we will be created are not already in place. Many people uh, does not know today that probably in a couple of years, uh, many new jobs will be created, the new uh, job rules will be created thanks to the artificial intelligence. I can bring you my personal experience. One of the most difficult issues when you deal with artificial intelligence uh, is to have a good training data set, okay? So the data set, uh, let me say, the actual gold for those people that, like me, perform research in artificial intelligence. It's very hard to um, create a specific data set that can be used to train the machine, so the uh, artificial intelligence systems in order to carry out a specific task. Well, those guys that will have the capability to create this data set, to create a specific data set with specific characteristics, will have a great power in the next couple of years. Okay, so uh, it's a sort of a minor uh, that they have to deal with the legal concern, with the technical issues, with the, the final task of your system. 
And uh, those people that we have this capability, we have also a new futures, new jobs, uh, and so on. Like this, and this is just an example from my experience, I can tell you that there are many new uh, tasks that uh, emerged from the, the managing of a life cycle of high-based systems, okay? From the design until the maintenance of these systems, because these systems are, let me say, a sort of human-based systems. They go up, they have their own experience, and we have to monitor each phases of the life cycle. So to do this, we need new professionals, new skills, and so on. And it's important to bring these new uh, skills directly in the schools. We have to create a new scholarships that uh, have to be able to address this challenge. Uh, but there is a huge problem, uh, as I told you, for those jobs that today are not technically uh, savvy. So there are many jobs, manual jobs, that can be replaced by uh, the increased automation, uh, the, the, the combination, for example, of a new generation of robots with artificial intelligence. And this is a huge risk that must be addressed by the government with specific uh, programs in order to retrain these people. Yeah, uh, you have to consider probably one of the sectors that most of all can, impact, can be impacted is the manufacturing. The, if we consider the, the supply chain or the, the production chain, in many industries today, there are many, uh, many workers that perform uh, um, sometimes specific uh, operation that can be easily replaced by an AI-based system that can uh, uh, improve the productivity, can be more speed, uh, can uh, take decision, also critical decision in real time, uh, can also act uh, in a more responsive way, respect a human. Okay, uh, and uh, probably this, uh, this is one of the big issues. A totally controlled uh, robot that is totally controlled by an artificial intelligence systems can be more uh, more secure, more uh, uh, productive, uh, more uh, efficient of a human controlled uh, system. So uh, it's very, very huge, um, let me say a huge challenge. Uh, on the other side, humans today, in, uh, all today are the, the items that uh, can gather in his hands the creativity. Okay, so every uh, every industry, every job that has uh, a huge component uh, of creativity will be not impacted at least in these moments by what we call eye based system. At least with uh, when we are dealing with the current eye based system, we cannot. Uh, we have no forecast on where current AI-based system can reach, okay? Probably uh, one day they can also uh, replace uh, human, human creativity. But currently, uh, I believe that some jobs, let me say the tailor or uh, a painter or what you want uh, cannot be replaced. Every, every, every I, I can tell you that probably these AI based system can be can integrate the creativity of the humans, can generate new forms of creativity, but cannot replace at the time uh, the, the humans.